One thing you have to admire about Jey Uso is his passion. When he sets his mind to something, he goes all out to achieve it, even if it means conflict with his closest allies, even his family. Jay is determined to be his own man, and I think that's a very admirable trait. He stood up for himself when others would have bent the knee and just played follow the leader. Even when the choice to do so has landed him in serious trouble, no question, Jay is committed to doing what he believes is best for himself. And in the other corner, we have Xavier Woods. Xavier might be best known as a highly decorated tag team competitor, but he's also an accomplished single superstar. Don't even think about underestimating his talents just because he's alone in the ring. Yeah, if you think Woods is just the guy who motivates his friends with his incisive trombone playing, you're very much mistaken. He's a dynamic superstar who's had plenty of stand-up here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila sun. Well, that was a great counter to the single leg crab. Over the last few years, main event Jey Uso has really come to his own as a solo competitor, wouldn't you say? I agree wholeheartedly, Cole. But his best work is still done alongside his brother. Jay has a lot of tag team tendencies that don't fade very easily, so it's important to keep him overwhelmed. Uh, just the power into a military press. The military press, followed by the gut check. A dynamic blow there from Woods. Never underestimate a guy just because he plays the trombone. Back ran and a post on the outside. Oh, uh, uh. Ooh, and a reversal. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Making a great addition to this family's legacy with that kind of brutal impact. Jay taking his offense from the top. What a win for Jay Uso. Here is your winner, Main Event Jay Uso. A count out is always a tough way to lose. The winner looks a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps he should have tried to break the count at the end there.